Hello, my name is Shabana Ali and I'm an e-learning assistant at Uxbridge College. Today I would like to show you how to create a tiny URL for a Google document. A tiny URL is basically a web service that allows you to choose and create your own shorter URLs which can be easier to remember. You can also use this service to shorten any website URL and not just a Google document link. Okay, so what I've done so far is signed into my Google account and created a new Google document. Now at the moment, you can see it's called Untitled Document, so I'm going to start by giving it a new name. So if I click on the name and type something in and then click OK, you can see it's now been named to something a little bit better. Now let's say I wanted to share this document with a group of people. I'll click the Share button in blue on the top right hand corner and change the access rights to anyone who has a link. So mine has already been done and you can see it's been selected here. Click Save and the other thing I can also do is change the editing rights. So if I go back to this option and I can choose can edit from the drop down menu here which means that these users can also edit the document. Once I've done that I can click done. At the top of the screen you can see there's a fairly long and unpleasant link um, which I'd like to change to a tiny URL. So what I can do is right click and copy this link, go to a new web tab and type in tinyurl.com. In this box I want to paste this link that I've just copied and I can choose a new name for the URL. So if I name it something like Shbana Doc, um, you'll need to be aware that common or popular choices may already be, ta be taken. So it's a bit like choosing a new username for a new email account. Once you've done that, you click on Make Tiny URL. And as you can see, I've already chosen that username before, so it's not allowed me to do that. I can repaste in the box below and choose something a little bit different and then click on make tiny URL and this time it hasn't come up with that error message. So this is my link here. I just highlight this, right click and copy and I can now share this with anyone I like. So if I go to a new tab, paste it into the, the bar, you can see it's come up with that document that I saved earlier. Thank you for listening. If you'd like some more information, feel free to contact me or the rest of the e-learning team at Uxbridge College.